Hey folks, Jake here. Thanks for watching Up and Wander with me today. Um, this month, actually it was last month, it was April, went down to the Detroit River with a buddy of mine. He said, come on down, I'll show you how to walleye fish. I've never walleye fished in the Detroit River before and done very little fishing total. But he said, come on down, I'll show you the ropes, get you set up, we'll catch some fish. So guys, this is my adventure down to the Detroit River, walleye fishing. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. And that'll help me in the channel out as well as uh, keep you up to date on anything that's upcoming. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. So here it is, guys. Detroit River walleye fishing in April. Thanks. <laughs> Boats out here already. Just wait. We're not surrounded by the beauty of nature, really, are we? No, no, not so much. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> Where's the uh, that boat? Oh. Was that by me the whole time? Oh. <laughs> like, did that stay there the while we were driving? Guys, I'm learning stuff here today. This is... Okay. <laughs> I told you, I don't do this. <laughs> this isn't my sport. Oh no. Ooh, I thought I got snagged. I think I gotta go. <laughs> the depth must change, huh? Well, it'll go from like down here to being on it to way up here is now the bottom. Yeah. 
yeah. Every time you're in my videos, I gotta cover up a bunch of swearing. Oh, <laughs> oh shucks. <laughs> yeah, in my videos, if you hear what sounds like a helicopter flying over, real fast, that's always swear words. <laughs> Looks like a buoy setter. What made you think that? Oh, the buoy's on it. Oh. Yeah, mostly just the obvious stuff made me think that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh, dang it, mine came off. Did it? It sounded concussive, concussion y, doesn't it? I was wondering that too. Like while that concussion was happening, both got hit. Yeah. While I changed that barometric pressure, I bet. They have a, while I have a organ that runs down their back, they sense changes in water pressure. Huh. Like the minuscule ones. So like when a fish flicks its tail, yeah. it feels it in its back. And it causes it to do a uh, it's reaction strike. It just instinctually just goes for it. Huh. I wonder if that should happen.
sorts of things going on right now. Got this, no big deal. We're getting ready to drop a buoy. That's gonna be it for our Detroit River walleye fishing video. Hope you liked it, saw some cool stuff. Um, it was fun, it was a cool experience I had never done before. Thanks to my buddy Rob for having me out. And uh, if you like this stuff, you know, click the like button, subscribe, and uh, join in. We'll be doing a little bit more of this. It's, we're good back to dogs here pretty soon, but I gotta try a few new things once in a while. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it and uh, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.